I've never actually done a video on the Objective 2 ODAC combo thing that's in my hands here. The name is cumbersome. So in my hands right here, this is the Objective 2 amp with the ODAC combo. Now, I haven't done a video on this yet, and I guess it's about time because this is the Revision B, and they've changed a few things with Revision B. Why am I talking like that? That's weird. First off, let's tell you what this is. This is a device made by Mayflower Electronics that is going to enhance your audio, but really it's what it's gonna do is it's gonna make it louder and give you extremely clean audio because that's what you want. You want the most pure, well, I'm not, I can't tell you what you want. You might want a garbage audio signal that sounds like mud. Some people want that. But ideally, in, 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 <laughs> I guess in an ideal world, everyone would have clear audio that's not colored and uh, amplified. And that's what you're getting right here with this device. Now, Tyler's been making this for a while. I guess he started because he wanted to make something that was uh, something for himself. And then he started selling them because th these things were expensive. You can go online and like headphone amplifiers, thousand dollars. What do you get for a thousand dollars? Better than this? I don't know. I can't tell the difference. I literally cannot tell the difference. But maybe you get something that's going to be a warmer sound or a fuzzy sound or something that's going to look cool on your desk and glow like a tube amplifier. And I'm not going to knock you for, for buying one of those. If you got the money and want to buy one and you like the warm sound, then go ahead. By all means, get one. This is not that. This is for, um, I guess, someone who really likes good, clean audio and wants it to be decently loud, even with their premium headphones. There you go. So let's take you on a tour of this device. On the front, you have the power button. And then we have a few different options as far as the output goes. This one has the, uh, the quarter inch, but you can get the eighth inch output. And I'm not going to translate that to the world standards because my brain this is dumb. It's awful. It's an American dumb brain. And then I've got the knob on here. I've got my aluminum knob on there, but uh, it comes with a slightly different knob than what you're seeing right here. You guys can see the picture on the, on the website, though. Then there's a gain button here. If you needed basically to give it a boost, you can do that. And then we have an input over here. Now, the input is going to bypass the DAC on the inside, so you won't be using the internal sound card here. You're going to be using the sound card on whatever device you're using, whether it's an MP3 player or a phone or whatever you're running the eighth inch cable into here. That's what's gonna be controlling uh, the audio. This is just going to amplify it. So if you send it a shitty signal, it's gonna be like, you know, amplifying that instead of whatever. But it's there in case you need an amplifier for whatever else, it's just nice to have. Then on the back here, we have AC input. That's RCA and that's on this model. You can get it with and without it. There's a lot of different options with this model. Uh, I like having the RCA, it's kind of cool if you have, you know, a set of desktop speakers or some studio monitors or something. Uh, and you want to use the DAC here rather than the DAC in your computer, this will, will do just fine. And then when you plug up your headphones, you know, you can pick and choose which one you want to use. USB right there, and it comes with a six foot USB uh, cord in the box. It does come with the AC, AC adapter as well. So that's the unit under the hood. It is the Objective Amp, which is an open source model. You guys can go online and make your own if you want, or you can go ahead and buy this one that's pre-made. Now, let's talk about how they've improved this one. They have, uh, you know, expanded the compatibility as far as different devices go. Now you can use it with like iOS devices, like iPads and that sort of thing. Uh, it'll work with, I tested it with Linux. Works just fine with Linux. You plug it up, it shows up immediately. Uh, it works with Windows. It's just a generic driver. You plug it in and it works. It just uh, magically works without any nonsense. Works with OS X um, and Android. And so it works with just about everything out there. Um, and this one also... They've improved the grounding a little bit. Um, there were a couple issues, not, I say they've sold a lot, but there were a couple people who said that they uh, had some static discharge issues because they were you know, wearing socks and running around on their floor and then putting this in their pocket while doing so. Shouldn't have done that. But now you might be able to get, out, get away with this. It's uh, shielded better. Now this is just simply made. Just, you know, the case is completely metal, decent quality components. I recommend this over most of the, the competition in this price range because well, number one, I really like the way they do things at Mayflower. Number two, I really like the sound quality. Uh, and number three, I think they're a, a good ethical company. And sometimes simple is better. And that's what we have. Just simple, get the job done, sound good. Now, this will support up to, well, 600 ohms, about the only, I don't even know if there is anything higher than 600 ohms as far as headphones go. But if you know anything with higher resistance, let me know. But 600 ohm headphones, you turn it up like halfway and it's plenty loud. If you need it to be louder, you can press the boost button and turn it up until you blow your speakers or your eardrums, whichever comes first. Now, this is not just going to be for like the extremely crazy headphones like that. Like I've got the Biodynamic DT880 Premiums that are 600 ohm. I found that some headphones that are like 30 ohms, they've got small drivers, you plug them in, they're 32 ohm. They don't sound that different if you have a clean source. Some that have, I don't know what the, I don't know what the magic the, the, or what the voodoo is that's going on here, but like for instance, I've got the the Kingston uh, Cloud, right? 
and I plug those up to this, and those are only 32 ohm, around 32, maybe a little bit higher than that, but they're like 32 ohm headphones. They sound kind of muddy when I plug them into my computer. The bass is there, but it's kind of floppy. I plug them into this, and now there's some real power driving them. They don't really get any louder, you know, they're 32 ohm headphones, but all of a sudden they sound quite a bit tighter because the power delivery is just a much better experience with this. It can improve your experience with lower ohm uh, headphones, especially if you're using professional headphones, you're gonna notice that things sound a bit tighter. Now, the reason you maybe would wanna look at something else is if you wanted to color your audio, and that's totally fine. Some of the, uh, you know, the digital things out there on the market, there are some out there that do color the audio quite a bit. A lot of times it's for the, you know, it's, it's more in the brighter range, you know, sharper sound almost, in my opinion. This has pretty neutral sound, so it's, the highs aren't too, too harsh, aren't too soft. They're right in the middle. Um, and sometimes people want something with a bass boost. I think that's kind of ghetto, uh, but you know, whatever. If you want your bass boost, man, go get your bass boost. I'm not gonna stop you. The other thing uh, is if you want like a really warm sound like a tube amp, you can go and get a tube amp and that will sound a little different than this. But those are more for um, people who just want a, a, a specific listening experience. And I find a lot of those people will get one of those and put it in a listening room. If they've got enough money to have a listening room, that's awesome. And then they'll put this by their computer or their workstation, or if they're an audio, if they're doing audio creation, uh, they'll use this for that. The other gripe I have is uh, ASIO drivers. They just they just don't work, so you have to use um, ASIO for all or something like that. If we could get ASIO drivers for the uh, Objective or the ODAC, that would be so freaking amazing. But we don't. That's uh, why I have a little Roland audio interface beside this because I use it for the uh, ASIO. You guys can see the updated specs on the screen. They have tightened it up a little bit, made it quite a bit better. Well, not quite a bit, but a decent bit better as far as the signal to noise ratios. Uh, the frequency response is still the same, uh, but they've improved a lot of the different specifications slightly. The bottom line for me is audio can be subjective, but when you have a device that's this clean and the measurements say it's this clean and you hear it and you realize it's, th it's that clean, then it really is that clean. So that should give you guys an idea of why I use this, um, you know, myself i really like this device and i you know i'm tyler didn't give me any money there's no deals here and i'm not giving him special treatment because i think he's a cool guy that's not happening uh you know i, I really will want some some asio drivers to the point where i was like wendell can you code some asio drivers so there are some things that i want changed with this but for the most part it's exactly what i want it's exactly what i want and we threw it on the the website we've got um uh, if you go to epicpants.com we have a version of this with our logo on it so it also has the larger uh, headphone jack i prefer this jack because it's easier to, you know, use a converter if you want to use an eighth inch to, to or a quarter inch to eighth, eighth inch. It's really easy to do that, and you can have the most, best of both worlds. You can get jacks that do the contrapositive if you like, and uh, but I find that they stick out a bit much. Anyway, uh, this video does not need to be any longer. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's good audio, decent price, and I do recommend it quite frequently. And I really recommend the one we have on our website because we get like five dollars, and I'm a greedy bastard. Not really, but yeah. Oh God. All right, guys. Ending of the video. Toodles. Toodles, everybody.